Imagine you're sailing at night above a vast stretch of black ocean. The sea is calm, yet beneath chaos brews in total darkness. A world where light cannot survive, pressure is lethal and silence reigns. Now imagine that world turning on a live camera and revealing life so alien, so unimaginable that your entire idea of reality shifts. Forty creatures, weird, glowing, ghostly, all discovered on a camera live streaming from the ocean depths off Argentina. Some with transparent skulls, others glowing with firefly lights. One even like a jellyfish made of pure pulsating red. A spectacle never seen, never imagined. This isn't deep sea mythology, it's real, surface today. And by the end of this video, you'll understand just how little we know. And why what's hidden beneath may change everything. The ocean doesn't just hide secrets. It hides monsters, miracles, and mysteries waiting to rewrite everything we thought we knew about life. So buckle up, because we're going 6,000 meters down. And trust me, it's going to get weird. You think you know Earth? Think again. The first thing scientists noticed as the cameras sank past the continental shelf wasn't emptiness. It was movement. It was life. But life in shapes that made even the most seasoned marine biologists gasp. Let's start with one of the showstoppers. The glass head dragonfish. Imagine a fish whose skull is see-through, its brain literally glowing under the camera lights, its teeth needle-thin like shards of crystal, its eyes rotating orbs that can look upward for prey while its body stays perfectly still. A predator designed like a nightmare, but beautiful in its fragility. And just when you thought that was creepy enough, another creature drifted into view, the red phantom jelly. Unlike anything cataloged before, it pulsed with scarlet light. Not bioluminescence exactly, but a chemical glow so intense it looked like a beating heart suspended in the dark. Why red? Down here, red light is invisible. Predators can't see it, meaning this jelly is effectively cloaked in plain sight, glowing in a spectrum that only we can witness through technology. Imagine hiding in plain sight your entire life, wrapped in a color no hunter can detect. But then, suddenly, something brushed against the camera. Something with legs. Enter the spider crab tightness. A grotesque crustacean with spindly limbs stretching nearly 10 feet across. Its shell was jagged and crusted with barnacles that looked like armor. And the way it moved, slow, patient, almost intelligent. One scientist muttered it looked like hmm, a fossil that decided to walk again. Next came something almost too bizarre to believe. The lantern eel serpent. Picture a snake five feet long, but with fins like ribbons trailing behind it. Along its sides ran rows of bioluminescent lanterns flickering in patterns like Morse code in the dark. Scientists suspect these signals aren't random. They could be communication, courtship, maybe even a kind of language. The ocean's version of neon signs flashing in the night. And then came the crowd favorite, a creature nicknamed Dumbo's Ghost. Think of an octopus. But instead of arms alone, it had massive ear-like fins that flapped gently like wings. Its body was translucent, its skin so delicate, you could see its organs suspended inside. And the way it moved, graceful, hypnotic, almost like it was flying, not swimming. People watching live swore it looked like an angel rising out of the abyss. But just as everyone was mesmerized by Dumbo's ghost, the feed cut to something that snapped them out of it. A predator. Meet the fang jaw gulper. Its mouth unhinged like a snake's. Its stomach elastic, capable of swallowing prey half its size in one gulp. And when the lights hit its body, it reflected nothing. It was blacker than black. A living void. Scientists realized this fish might be one of the blackest animals ever recorded. An evolutionary cloak to become invisible even when spotlights hit it. Think about that. A predator that absorbs light itself. Creeped out yet? Good, because we're just scratching the surface. Now before I continue, let me throw a curveball at you. Think about it. In the age of satellites, smartphones, and instant information, how is it possible that whole species 
whole ecosystems still remain unseen, how much of our planet is still a blind spot? Here's the terrifying answer. More than 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. That's not a statistic. That's a warning. So what else is hiding down there? Take the crystal bell Medusa, for example. A jelly so perfectly transparent it looked like a floating glass sculpture, its core pulsing with faint blue electricity. Under the lights, it fractured beams into rainbow halos like stained glass windows adrift in the dark. But drift a little lower and elegance twisted into menace. There, the iron claw isopod clung to the seafloor, an armored brute with serrated claws like a roach built for war. Its jagged shell looked more machine than animal and one couldn't shake the feeling it had survived here, not for years, but for centuries. And then came something fragile, yet deadly. The threadfin ghostfish, pale as smoke, its fins stretched into gossamer ribbons. It swayed like silk in the current until a crustacean wandered too close. In an instant, its jaws snapped open, engulfing the prey, proof that in the deep, even the delicate are killers. But just as tension rose, the ocean unveiled grace again. The veil wing ray. Its wings spanned wider than a car, rippling silver like curtains in slow motion. It glided past like a ghost in flight, so mesmerizing the live stream audience fell silent until a shadow eclipsed it. That shadow was the abyssal gulper's shark. Loose-skinned, swollen, its cavernous mouth drooping open wide enough to swallow a man whole. No streamlined elegance, no speed, just patience. It waited blind and unblinking until something drifted too close, and then it vanished forever. And just when scientists thought they'd seen it all, the seafloor itself seemed to come alive, a writhing mass, the crown hydra worm. Dozens of tube-like bodies twisted together, each crowned with neon green fronds glowing in the dark. But they weren't separate creatures. They moved as one, pulsing in eerie waves like a giant ancient heartbeat. Not plants, not coral, a living colony older than empires. In the deep, every shape tells a story of survival, of terror, of beauty, and sometimes all three at once. Feeling uneasy? Good. Because the ocean doesn't do comfort, it does extremes. At 4,000 meters down, the lights revealed a strange orb floating in the dark. But it wasn't a balloon, it was alive. A sphere squid, swelling into a spiked ball to ward off predators. A living weapon forged by the abyss. Nearby, the grotesque bone-eater hagfish slithered through a whale carcass, secreting slime that let it dissolve bone and drink the marrow within. Pure horror, yet pure survival. Then came a flash of crimson. The bloodfin lanternfish pulsing red light to lure and prey with false promises of an easy kill. In the deep, deception is the sharpest blade, but terror gave way to beauty when the stardust comb jelly appeared, its glassy body scattering light into cascading rainbows like a drifting galaxy in the black, a reminder that wonder still exists even here. That wonder was shattered in an instant by the strike of the needle jaw barracuda, a silver blur with needle thin teeth, killing so fast the cameras could barely catch it. In the abyss, every heartbeat holds both beauty and fear. Still think you'd want to swim down here? And here's the unsettling part. Every time the scientists thought they'd reached the peak of weirdness, the ocean just laughed and threw something stranger at them. At 5,000 meters, the abyss revealed something that stunned the world. The halo eye shrimp, the living anemone tower, the moon veil siphonophore, the sawtooth gulper eel, the nightmare worm, the crown jelly titan, the spider fish, the mirror back snailfish, the colossus sea cucumber, and the crown of bones crab. Each of these discoveries felt less like biology and more like mythology come alive. Together, they painted the abyss as a place where beauty and horror don't just coexist. They are one and the same. And if you thought we'd peaked, brace yourself. Because the last ten are the deepest, strangest, and most mind-bending of all. Creatures that look so alien, some scientists admitted they struggled to even name them. And one of them? It might just change how we think about life itself.
At nearly 6,000 meters, the abyss unveiled another lineup of wonders that left scientists speechless. The phantom orb jelly, the blade fin ghost fish, the needle spine sea urchin, the bubble head chimera, and the spiral ribbon worm. Still think Earth is ordinary? Let's go, stranger. At 6,200 meters came the Umbra squid, jet black, with no bioluminescence, no glow, no reflection. It absorbed all light. Even under the sub's beams, it looked like a shadow punched into reality. The scariest part? It was massive, longer than a man, and it moved silently, vanishing into the dark in seconds. One researcher muttered, that wasn't a squid, that was a hole in the ocean. But the abyss had beauty left to show. The silver-crowned sea star unfolded across the seabed. A starfish, but unlike any ever seen, its arms ended in delicate silver tips that glowed faintly like burning candles in the dark. And when it moved, it didn't crawl. It walked, lifting its arms in graceful rhythm. And then the horror returned, the skull face angler. Its head was pale, bony, with markings that looked like a human skull grinning in the black. From its forehead dangled a glowing lure, swaying like a ghostly candle. When a small fish swam too close, it lunged, jaws snapping shut with a crack that echoed through the sub's audio feed. Imagine staring into the dark and seeing a skull swimming toward you. Creature 39 was perhaps the strangest strategy of survival yet. The shattered glass sponge, its body was fragile, crystalline, shaped like shards of broken glass fused together, but it wasn't weak. Those glass spines sliced into predators' mouths, turning attackers into their own victims, a living booby trap. And finally, the one that left scientists speechless, the eternal flame worm, a tubular creature anchored to the seafloor, its crown glowing with a steady orange fire-like light. Unlike the flashing bioluminescence of other creatures, this glow never dimmed, never pulsed, constant, eternal. Some researchers believe it could be powered by chemosynthetic bacteria that generate endless energy, a living torch burning at the bottom of the world. And here's the thought I'll leave you with. This is just one expedition, one slice of one ocean, if 40 brand new species can be revealed in a single live stream. How many are still out there? Hundreds? Thousands? Millions? Think about it. We've mapped Mars more thoroughly than our own seas, and yet while we stare at the stars wondering if life exists out there, the truth is alien life has been waiting all along, right here, under our oceans. So the next time you stand on the shore looking out at that endless horizon, remember, the ocean isn't just water, it's a universe, one we've barely begun to explore. And somewhere in that blackness, something is still watching, something we haven't named yet something waiting for the next light to find it. And when it does, will we be ready? If you want to keep diving with me into the unknown, where every revelation feels like staring into another universe, make sure you subscribe, because the next discovery might just be the one that changes everything.